Hey guys, it's Bog here and welcome to another FIFA 21 Icon Player Review and today guys we're going to be doing the 87 rated Miroslav Klose, the baby icon. As you guys know, I'm trying to review as many icons as possible this year. Uh, I've started to, of course, I've already reviewed the baby Ronaldo and also Socrates, uh, so closer today and uh, I want to try and get my hands on Henan Crespo as well pretty soon and give him a review. But um, this is a very interesting card. First of all, he's one of the cheapest icons that you can buy. I was able to buy him for 260 9,000 coins in the three games that I played in my video that scored me seven goals and got me three assists. That was in Division 5 foot rivals and he actually helped me as well in those three games to get promotion to Division 4. Uh, he does also have three star skills as well as four star. Before getting into his in-game stats, his main standard stats will be his 90 positioning, his 88 finishing as well as his 89 reactions and finally his 90 composure. I did have the whole cam stat applied to me. There's a few traits as well. An icon profile um, I can't exactly remember what this point of his career was I don't know if it was towards the end of his career at like the 2014 World Cup or um, or at some other points uh, of his career. I'm not exactly too sure. But um, yeah, on the face of it, for a card that costs almost 300,000 coins... Doesn't look great, does he? Let you know. Let's let, let's be realistic here. Um, 85 shooting, and when you go into a shooting stats, I mean, his shooting stats are actually pretty solid. You know, fantastic about positioning, finishing, and his volleys and penalties are pretty solid. But only 79 shot power. Uh, some of his dribbling stats to be very very good, apart from his agility and balance. Uh, 90 composure, 89 reactions is very good. 93 jumping, 90 heading accuracy. And um, his pace stats aren't the worst for the stage of the game. Pace is very important. Um, for, for wide players in particular, uh, maybe not so much going through the central part, but certainly if you you know for your fullbacks and your wingers, need to be minimum like eighty five pace really ideally. Uh, certainly on your on your left mid and right mid, but in game he just worked. He got me ten goal contributions in three games, and listen, um, you know six weeks down the line. He won't be getting that kind of return. Uh, once people start to to really build on their squads, and um, he 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 won't be. He'll still be a usable card in six weeks' time, but he won't be getting a return of ten goal contributions in three games, at least in my personal opinion. But um, but you know, to be fair in game, I mean, I know his card looks borderline dreadful for icon stats on the face of it. Uh, in game, he plays better than what his card shows to be. His finishing is top class it really is seven goals in the three games 88 finishing the whole camp six is finishing up to where uh, up to uh, 92 his shot power goes into the mid 80s his volleys goes up to um or should i say his long shots go up to uh, to 90 his positioning goes to 94 he, he is great when it comes to finishing off chances absolutely ruthless um you know solid there all around four star weak foot as well so that's superb um i, I couldn't fault that his finishing in front of goal was was fantastic i was not expecting seven goals in three games and to help me get a promotion to Division 4. And by the way, guys, for um, for getting promotions this year, obviously you get your, your coins for getting your placements after you played your five games. But also, when you get promoted for Divisions, you now also get coins. Um, so if you're going from Division 5 to Division 4, you get 20,000 coins. So that was a nice extra surprise as well for me. But, um, but yeah, listen, yeah, it's finishing go around absolutely solid. And also his passing was pretty decent as well. He linked up well with Socrates. I think the important thing is, though, if I was sitting here and I had him in a team of like you know starter players uh, surrounded by him, I don't know if, again if he would have got the return that he ended up getting. You gotta you gotta look at my team. You gotta think he's got Carrasco alongside him on the left hand side. He's got Lucas Moura on the right hand side. So two extremely pacey wingers. He's got talented boxer box midfielders in Fabinho and Thomas Partey, of course, a new Arsenal signing. And then also you got one of the best Brazilian icons maybe in the game in Socrates literally feeding balls to him so you've got to be a bit realistic I think that if you want to use this Miroslav closer card he needs to have good players surrounded by him I think if you can try and get your hands on the 89 cards that card is going to will, will be much more of a usable card later on within the game cycle getting towards Christmas time and stuff like that and when the prime icons come out the 89 card would still be usable at that point but this 87 card has got a kind of a short shelf life to be quite honest i think it's better if you can try and keep your coins a little bit longer and trying to get other icons i can't believe i'm saying this but because he got me 10 gold contributions in three games but i just know that in a few weeks time he's not going to be a part of the power curve and that the thing is as at this stage of the game there's so many people who are starting off their teams and this closer card works against those but i just know once people start to build up their teams and people can build up teams easily nowadays in fifa it's not like a few years ago it takes months and months and months to get good teams you can literally build a good team within 
four to six weeks, or at least a half decent team to complete for champions and stuff like that. So yes, this card currently is good choosing. If you're a massive fan of Closer, I would 100% then, obviously, if you're a massive fan of him, by all means, go and buy him. Um, but on the whole... Bear in mind that, yes, he hasn't got the longest shelf life within the game in terms of how meta he is going to be. But based on using him as of today, I couldn't fault the guy, certainly in terms of his passing and uh, his finishing. He was just ruthless there with 10 goal contributions in three games as a return. That was uh, that that really did surprise me. But uh, anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys later.